How many gems will it cost to be fully maxed in Clash of Clans? I have 60 walls left to upgrade with the 20% discount from the gold pass. That is still 384 million. In the pet house, I have Lassie and the Mighty Yak, which is over 2 million dark elixir. A bunch of upgrades left in the laboratory. And I also want to assure that my builder base is maxed in this video as well. Where should we begin? I think probably just knocking out these Seeking Air Mines. They've only got a few hours left on them. Let's make sure, I think my builder potion is about to run out. So let's just use that. They should finish by the end of the video. This one arguably won't. So let's use the Book of Building. Then 8 million. Let's see if I could get one of these upgraded. I have 5.2 million gold right now in the trader shop. Let's leave that 500. I can get 2.5 million with my raid medals. Some in the loot cart. Oh, we're 90,000 short. Not how I intended to start the video, but hey, Let's go for it. Okay, there we go. Seeking a mine, 8 million. Let's go. A book of everything on that. I don't have a rune of gold, do I? Oh my goodness. So we're using gems to fill up the storage. 6,000. Oh my gosh. When we get to the walls, I'm going to have to fill up the storage like this. A lot of times, let's see. Seeking a mine done. We've just got the walls. In fact, let's do the laboratory first. So we've got this. How many book of fighting do I have? Only one book of fighting, but I do have 20 book of everything. Let's just use the book of fighting here. Stop complicating things. Elixir wise, we are... Oh, I remembered. That's why I didn't want to collect the elixir straight away because watch this. Pekka, done. There's actually a rune of elixir right here in the trader shop. So let's get that before I forget. Use that. That allows me to... Hmm... Do we go with one of these? That would give us 8 million left over. Let's go with the Stone Slammer. Book of everything, 10 million. Can I get the resources from the raid medals? Yes. That means we are slightly over when it comes to the wall wrecker. So maybe we can actually just get 300,000 real quick for the goblin. Whilst I do this, let's have a quick word from our sponsor who helped cover the cost of this video. Thank you to Honkai Impact the Third for sponsoring today's video. This is a cross-platform anime action game by Hoyoverse, the makers of Genshin Impact and the recently released Honkai Star Rail. There is so much new stuff in the 6.7 update, new plots, new activities, outfits, characters, including Shigeru Kira, who uses pistols to deal extremely high damage, whilst also providing combat buffs to teammates whether she's on the battlefield or not. One new event is the perfect performance where you can gain Valkyrie Gloria's new outfit, whilst the main story update is a mode Salt Snow Tower. Here you can gain crystals to reap awesome rewards. This year, Honkai Impact the 3rd will attend Anime Expo, Japan Expo and Gamescon. All of the information on your screen. You can download Honkai Impact the 3rd using the link in the description and and use the redeem code Kira now to get a ton of rewards. Goblin, look at everything. Okay, that is the troops all done. Now, when it comes to Dark Elixir, I don't have a hammer just yet. I really, really want those skins and the scenery but it's going to save me so much money if I use the hammers. So I think I should do that. I'll just have to save up for the skins later. <laughs> No! This is the right call. It's the right move. Hammer of fighting. On the ice golem. Done. Okay, and we should do the same thing for the skeleton spell. Okay, so we've got two dark elixir troops to upgrade. Are they more expensive than the pets? No. Lassie is the cheapest upgrade, and we are 40,000 dark elixir short. I have none in the gold pass, but I do have my raid medal, so I can get the 25,000 here. 15,000. Oh my gosh, quite a lot. I'm sure I can get that in a couple of attacks. There we go, 201,000, which is enough to upgrade Lassie. We can use the Book of Heroes. And then I spied in the trader shop the Rune of Dark Elixir. That's way cheaper. Let's use the Rune of Dark Elixir now. Hmm, what is the most expensive upgrade? Do we just do the troops first? I guess that gets them out of the way, right? Let's get the bowler done. And then we know the laboratory is fully completed. The rune is when you have to worry about trying to get your storages perfect. Now that I'm not using a rune, we can actually just go ahead and... Well, I was going to say fill the storage, but it's 7,480 gems. What? 
Okay, let's head on over to the Supercell store. When you purchase here, you get 10% more and you can still enter a content creator code. My code is Judo and as ever, it is always much appreciated. You know what? I'm actually just going to purchase three of them right now because, I mean, we're going to need it. Three, two, oh, it beat me to it. Three chest of gems. Oh, look at that. <laughs> yes. 47,000. Okay. Is that enough? Let's fill the storage. There's definitely no other way of doing this. Let's fill the storage. I think we should just do the Valkyrie. Why am I gemming the Valkyrie? Part of getting my base maxed, but... There you go, Valkyrie. Maxed and I will never use you. How much is it to fill up the elixir storage? 6,000. Not as bad, but like, come on. Wall wrecker. Completed. So that's the lab. The lab's done. <laughs> okay. We haven't even started on the walls yet. We've got nine levels of pets. I think we should have enough book of everything where we don't have to spend gems on time. It's only resources. But let's actually double check over here in the builder base. Ah, it's a shame because my double cannon is is only 400 gems in order to finish. Is it worth spending a thousand gems? I'm gonna use the gems. I, I, I just can't bring myself to use a book of everything for 400 gems. Right, 3.6. Oh, that's perfect for the cannon. So we can upgrade that. I will use the book of everything. And then we did actually have three runes of builder gold. Double cannon, upgrade of everything. Let's go to the elixir real quick. One rune of builder elixir. We've got one here. Battle copter is the only one we need to do. We've got three levels. So I don't think it is worth wasting my rune here. Yeah, let me show you a trick real quick. Let's just go all pecker, dump the troops around the base, force close the app, load it back up, and we get three stars added to the star bonus. You probably will drop down in leagues by doing this, but it means you can complete your star bonus way quicker and get a bunch of loot on defense as well. Fantastic. Star bonus. And I have how many builder star jars? Was it 20? So I'm going to do this for the next five or 10 minutes until I have enough for the gold and elixir upgrade. There we go. Beautiful. That should be enough for the... Oh my goodness. Look at all of the defenses. That's epic. Let's collect that real quick before we can't stack any more. Might as well get that one. I guess it does not matter. Then Battlecopter is 3.4 million. I do have one left in here, which is 4.5. Okay. I need to do a couple more of these. Oh, welcome back, Sheaf. Seeking air mine finished whilst I was away. That's why I didn't just gem them all at the start of the video. They, they should finish by the end of the video. Let's keep going with this though. Oh no, it's full. <laughs> okay, we can upgrade the battle copter then. So let's upgrade that. Book of Heroes. It feels a shame to waste, but let's go Rune of Builder Elixir. Let's just upgrade the dropship. Fully maxed in the lab there as well. So we just have the cannon. Let's check in here. Builder Elixir. Oh, I've got a million Builder Gold right there. So yeah, since I only have one Rune of Builder Elixir, yeah, I'm gonna need one more level here, aren't I? So why don't I continue with my trick? Oh, okay, I think this should be the last one. Yes, cannon, upgrade, book of everything, battle copter, upgrade. We can use the book of heroes and then we still have one Rune of Builder Elixir for that final battle copter level. Fantastic. Builder base done. That gives me a little bit of hope. But now we've got 60 walls to get through. I guess we should do the pets first and then we'll come back to the walls. Let's go with the Mighty Yak. 208. Oh, we're just short. Only 70,000 short though. And I think each time we should probably fill the storage up to the max. This is where our gems, they're going to take a hit here initially. Let's actually, what I'm going to do is get the Mighty Yak up to level 14. I think I'm doing this right. I should always just fill the storage back up to the top because I can't split the levels anyway. There's actually a book of heroes in here, right? Yeah. Glad I remembered that. Holds on to one of my book of everything. So this goes to level 14. Okay, let's go like that. Oh my gosh, we're nearly out of those gems already. Book of everything. But now the Mighty Yak is going to be the most expensive. So this is where I'm going to use the Hammer of Heroes. Mighty Yak, max level. Lassie still needs to be upgraded. And I think we're going to need more gems. We haven't even started on the walls yet. 
Okay, back to the Supercell store. You do have to enter the content creator code each time here. It's not like in-game where it lasts for seven days. Oh, let's go. 37,000. That's enough to get Lassie to, to the top level, right? I believe the route I should take is fill the storage. Look at everything. This sounds weird, but I'm going to purchase the Book of Heroes so that I don't have to keep using more overstacked Book of Everything than I need to because I will need those for next time there's an update. So right now, I think we just continue filling the storage. That gets us to level 13 with that Book of Heroes. One more, completely filling up the storage like this. This time we should just pay 2,000 for 80,000. How quick could we farm that? I'm gonna give myself like five minutes. Ah, oh, would you look at that? And it's getting repaired. Come off it. Oh, I don't know how long that took, maybe 10 minutes, but it saved me 2,500 gems. Yes, there we go. Lassie and the Mighty Yak maxed. That also helped us with some golden elixir because we are now going to need it. What I am definitely going to do is straight away purchase the three sets of wall rings with my raid medals. That will allow us to upgrade two pieces of wall. Yep. <laughs> there are also wall rings for gems and what you will see is that is definitely worth it once we get to the actual gemming side of things out of them again but we've already spent a bunch of my cwl medals 10 wall rings is 50 and if you are upgrading walls, these are definitely the way to go because you get half of the value if you get loot. Since we have the loot and we've got a couple of walls here, let's go ahead and upgrade those. We've got 47 left. How many can we get with wall rings? I don't really want to be spending gems on just filling up the golden elixir storages. Let's power through these wall rings and then we can see how many gems are required at the end. Oh, we've still got lots of walls and we're running out of metals. This is the last one. Please land well. 24. It's perfect. 8, 16, 24. Oh my gosh. 20 league medals. Not enough for those skins, but what do we have left? 22 walls. No. We can't get any of that. Can't use league medals for the loot here. We're five medals short. Nothing in the treasury. It's literally gems. Why don't I go with the gold? Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm doing this. So we can fill up the storage one more time. That gives us three walls. How much is 5,000 gems, by the way? $40. $10 a wall. How many we got? 13. Oh, come on. And that's it. <sighs> The purchase completed is still there. It's amazing how quick that comes in. Okay, this is hopefully enough. We are nearly there. We're at the closing stages. One wall, two walls, three walls, 10 more to go. Look at that, 10 walls. Is it going to be enough? Wait a second, it's not. Are you kidding me? It's not going to be enough, is it? Seven walls, this is the last one. No way, four walls left. I need to fill up the storage one more time. Oh. Yeah, there's nothing else I can do but go back to the Supercell store. <laughs> Here we go. Now we don't need to buy any more gems. We know that. Gold. One wall. Two wall. Which one is randomly selected? Can we spot it? Do you ever do this with your base and try and find a certain building or in this case, a piece of wall? Someone in the comments will be able to see it. There it is right at the edge, right over there next to the sneaky goblins. But here we go, 766 gems. We could go out and farm and get this, but I just want to be maxed. Three, two, one. There we go. All builders available. Everything fully maxed. That is how much it cost us. If you enjoyed this one, YouTube thinks you will like this video. Enjoy the rest of your day.